Hello, it's Tuki here. How's everyone going? Um, today we are working on a bunny magician. At least I think that's what he's up to with his butterfly friend. Uh, I think I made this after um, looking up far too many of those kiddies books and the art from them. Like, what's that one that I used to read a lot when I was little? Uh, the Red Wall books, that's them. All these little animals in outfits and things, and things like was the lady that Peter Rabbit books? What was her name? Oh, that's gonna bug me now. There was that movie as well about her. I'll remember in a second. I'll come back to that one. <laughs> and she went and bought the farm and things. Ah, oh, who was in that film? She did like Squirrel Nutkin and things. I can remember all the bloody animals' names, but not hers. It was what was it? Squirrel Nutkin, Peter Rabbit, the tale of is it two two bad mice or the bad mice one? Tom Kitten, the pig one. Now the pig one I remember was the really really thick books. I had the book set of them, and the pig one was the really thick book. I can never get into that one. Um, there was the frog. He was good. Oh, Jemima Puddle Duck. No, she was mint. Uh, who else? Oh, I love them. I'm gonna think of another one. Um, there was Cottontail, Flops. Was that Flops? Those were Peter Rabbit's like siblings, weren't they? And then the father. Was it McGregor? Was the far farmer chap who? Ate one of the other bunnies. The bad mice one was the one where they were going to eat the kitten. And I didn't like that one because I was like mad for cats when I was little and they were rolling the cat up into like a little sausage roll with the cat's face stuck out of it. They were eat I think they might have been rats actually. I don't think mice would eat a kitten. It would they were rats. The mice one's the one where they lived in the doll's house. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, I'd looked at far too many kiddies books, bits of art, and came up with this thing. That was it. I'd looked at... It was an old Enid Blyton book, and it was Whiskers and the Wizard. And it was the one where... I think he was like an apprentice to a wizard was the bunny. And then they... I think he gets kidnapped as the wizard by a goblin or something. And the bunny goes around trying to find... I don't know, the wizard, I suppose? And shows how competent a magician he is. Ah, oh, and I couldn't find the illustrations from the inside of the book. I got rid of it when I was really little, and I remember the inside illustrations were really good. They were these, like, pocket book ones, and I didn't really like Enid Blyton books, because they were, like, Famous Five and... Was it Secret Seven or something like that? They always rhymed, and they're always about, like, posh little kids. But she did these little, um bedtime story type ones and there were a couple of them that I got and they were really good. Maybe not the story itself but the illustrations were. Whoever illustrated them they were really good. There was this one, Whiskers and the Wizard, and then there was um, one called the Magic Sweet Shop and I really liked that one because I liked the idea of it. It was these two kids went off into the middle of, I don't know, they went on a walk or something and found a mysterious sweet shop and they got like one of those bag mixes you get, you know when you pay like just a little handful of change and they put like odds and sods into a paper bag for you. They did that, they went in with whatever pocket money they had and they got like a mixture bag of sweets and I remember the sweets always looked like sugared almonds and I really like the way sugared almonds look um, and different coloured sweets in the bag would do different things, kind of like Alice in Wonderland, you know, it's like eat me, drink me kind of thing and they like shrank and did different things. I can only remember that they shrank when they had one of them, but I know all the other ones had different effects as well. Because when they shrank, they went down to like bug sized, and I think they were like riding around on snails and things, and bugs and ladybirds and what have you. But yeah, Whiskers and the Wizard one. I'm trying to remember what he did in it. Um, I know he had to do a spell where it involved like throwing a leaf in the air, and whatever way the leaves like landed, that was where the wizard was. And when he got to the wizard, they ended up doing a spell that made. Because there's a dragon on the cover. Um, I went to go look at this book because I couldn't remember what the name was for ages. I put down like bunny magician and things and bunny apprentice and came up with loads of things to do with. Um, if you put anything to do down with uh, apprentice, you end up with um, 
Was it Fantasia where it's Mickey Mouse being Wizard Apprentice? And it's hard to find because I couldn't remember the title. Um, and it was hard to find one that matched. But yeah, when he gets to find the wizard at the end, they end up doing a spell that like summons a dragon and scares the goblin away. And the wizard's kind of shitty to Whiskers and thinks Whiskers is like a crappy apprentice. Sorry, treats him like a crap apprentice. But then like he shows how much of an awesome like kick-ass little bunny wizard he is. But he isn't wearing anything, he's just like a nud, nud bunny. But yeah, I like animals wearing clothes and hats especially. Animals in hats are fantastic. Like Muppets, I love Muppets because they're all wearing like clothes and get up and things. Like, which one's my favourite Muppet? I think it's probably the Chucks actually. The Chucks are pretty good. And the really grumpy one, the eagle chap, he's good. I don't remember his name. Yep, so we're just going around highlighting him all up here. And we're going to go right through from shading this, basing this, and in a second I'm going to start colouring it as well and putting all the patterns all over him. Yeah. I didn't really look at proper butterfly colours, I just kind of went for it, so it's fantasy butterfly. Love um, kiddies book illustrations. I love that kind of thing. Like, um, what was the other one? It's really good. The Gruffalo is a really good one. Another one was, like, really, I like funny ones as well that are, like, super simple and funny looking like, what is it, where is my pigeon or something, or, oh no, it's, Something about the pigeon driving the who or don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I like that one. <laughs> it's just like a pigeon, and it's like um, um, a bus driver tells you to look after his bus, and your only instruction pretty much is to not let the pigeon drive the bus. So while the bus driver is gone, the pigeon's talking you into it and telling you how much of a fantastic bus driver this pigeon's gonna make. He's like giving you all these elaborate descriptions as to why he's the best bus driver and probably the most suitable for this position as bus driver because as a pigeon he would make a fantastic bus driver <laughs> tells you about how he's driven tractors and whatnot and he can do stunts because the pigeon's such a good driver and it's just this super simple funny looking book Oh, here we go. So we're getting near to finishing on the bunny now in the background. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm making a quick one today because um, I've got banana bread in the oven at the moment. It's one of my favourites is banana bread. It'll be all lovely and warm in a second. I can have it with a cup of coffee. Ah, aha! It was Beatrix Potter. That was the lady who did Squirrel Nutkin and so on. Aha. And the one with the rats, that was Tom Kitten. I remember now. Sweet. And she had her own animated TV series as well, and that was really good. Because I remember seeing the um, cells from that, because that was a hand-drawn one as well, that. It was at... It was the Kids Literature Museum. I can't remember where it was. I know we visited it one day. It was in the UK. For some reason, we took a road trip to that and went for a wander around, and they had the cells on the wall from the Beatrix Potter TV show and from the Discworld one, too. Yeah, I just went and looked at what the Kids Literature Museum was called, and it was Seven Stories in Newcastle. It was a really good day out, I remember it now. Um, they tend to have loads of um, illustrations on display from several different kids' books. It's really good. Um, it looks like at the moment they're actually celebrating 150 years of Beatrix Potter. So they've got um, loads of illustrations on there, and it says, Visitors can pull on a bespoke animal headdress inspired by Miss Potter, and they can leap around pretending to be animals, pretty much. So there you can get your squirrel nutkin on mm. and it was called seven stories because it's um every story apparently must fall into one of these seven categories i forget what they all are it's something like um redemption and things like that um but yeah every story pretty much you can categorize into one of these seven types apparently Oh, here we go. So thank you very much for that. And if you like it, give a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra! Potluck the witch held a big veggie potluck with all the witch friends. They decided to go off and play volleyball before the meal. But as they were leaving, oh, what's this? The demon king came on the feast and stole.